If you are new to fountain pens and you're intimidated by the idea of needing to clean them regularly, I've got you. Today I'm going to take you through the process twice. First with a relatively easy to clean cartridge converter pen, and then again with a more challenging piston filler. I usually do this over a sink, but today I have a little setup on my desk for you made up of a couple of jars of clean water, some paper towels, and a dry jar with a paper towel shoved into it for drying. I also will be using this bulb syringe to clean the first pen I'm going to show you. This came highly recommended from the folks over at Goulet Pens. It makes the process so much faster and easier. The first pen that I'm going to clean today is the Kaweco All Sport, and this is a cartridge converter pen. So the first thing that I need to do is unscrew the barrel of the pen and remove it, and then you can see that there is an empty cartridge in there. So far, I've found that I only need to clean my pens when they run out of ink, but I do use them pretty often, so it doesn't really take very long to get through a whole cartridge. Once I pop the cartridge out of there, I put it aside so I can clean it out later and reuse it, and then I fill up the bulb syringe with water. And then, aiming the nib unit into the water, I press the end of the bulb syringe into the pen, and then I gently squeeze it to kind of flush the feed out with water. You can buy a fountain pen cleaning solution to do this with, but I haven't had the need to do that yet. And after a few times of squeezing that bulb syringe, I dab the nib onto a paper towel. And as you'll see here, it kind of sucks some of the water out of the feed and you can see if there is still ink in the pen. And in this case, there is. Gonna go ahead and use some movie magic to get myself some clean water. And I'm just going to repeat the process until no more ink is coming out of the pen both in the water and on a paper towel. And with this particular pen and ink, today it didn't take that long. Yay! To let it completely dry, I am placing that nib side down into a dry paper towel and then placing it into a dry jar so that it can remain upright while it dries. And because I like to reuse my cartridges, I am taking this ink syringe that I also purchased from Goulet Pens, filling it up with water, and then I'm gonna grab that cartridge and use this to clean that out. Because the opening on these is very tiny, you kind of need a tool like this in order to make this work. You can't just put it under a faucet or something like that. And when it looks pretty good, I am sucking all of the water back out of the cartridge using the syringe. Certain inks I've found will stain these cartridges. Red ones in particular I've found are usually the culprit, and so then I just use the cartridges for other red inks in the future. Usually I leave the pen out to dry overnight, and then I open it up and I give it a little shake just to make sure that no water droplets come out. If you're going to ink up this same pen again, you can insert a new cartridge now, but in this case I was switching to a different pen, so this one just needed to be reassembled, and then it will be ready to go nice and clean for the next time I want to use it. Now I'm going to show you one of my pens that is a bit more challenging to clean, and that is because it is a built-in piston filler pen that does not screw apart in the same way that the other pen does. This is the Twisby Eco. It's the rose gold smoke edition. It's beautiful. It has a broad nib. I like to use shimmer inks and sheening inks in it, and it just is a mess right now. So <laughs> it's a process to clean this one. Because I haven't figured out a great way to attach the bulb syringe to this pen, I just use the built-in piston filling mechanism, just twisting the end of this pen, first to suck up water into the pen, and then to move it to the other jar so that I can expel the liquid back out through the feed. This does the same thing as the bulb syringe, but much, much slower. I have tried using the little wrench that comes with this pen to disassemble it and clean it that way, but I don't like to do that every time because it's very involved. So anybody else who has a Twisby Eco out there wants to tell me your secret <laughs> as to how you get that pen clean, let me know. It does help that this is a demonstrator pen so you can see inside of it and know for sure that there is still ink in there. I do find it very satisfying to watch the water get sucked out of the feed by the paper towel. Look at that! I am also not 100% confident that this pen is clean, so I'm just gonna do one more cycle of pulling in water, and that seems better. 
Overall, I don't mind the process of taking care of my fountain pens. Obviously, I prefer filling them up and using them, but this is something that once I figured out how to do it, I was much less intimidated by the entire process and it really became something that I look forward to because it means I get to ink up a new pen. I hope that this video was helpful to you, but if you are an old pro at cleaning fountain pens already, I would love to hear if you have any tips in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see what I inked this pen up with next.